boys and girls, it's Halloween. <laughs> I've been walking the roads of Ireland, you see. Well, until I take me seat. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. My name is Jack O'Lantern. And I've been walking the roads of Ireland for many hundreds of years with my trusty companion, Tommy Turnip. Say hello, Tommy. Oh, you lads, what's the crack? Isn't it lovely to be out at Halloween walking the roads of Ireland? I'm Tommy Turnip. Are you all looking forward to Halloween? Woo! <laughs> That's right, it's Halloween, boys and girls. Sure, we're all very proud of Halloween in Ireland. What do you mean? Of course we're proud, so didn't we invent it? That's right, we invented Halloween. And over in America and all over the world, they'll be celebrating Halloween. Do you know what to do in America, Tommy? No, I haven't a clue. Tell me. They carve pumpkins. Pumpkins? Are you mad? Oh, I don't like pumpkins. Years ago now, we had nothing but an old turnip and a shot of turf in our hand, and we'd walk to school in our bare feet and... A... Okay, Tommy, that's enough of that. Oh, my Tommy, lads. Right, boys and girls. Do you want to hear a story? Oh, about a little boy at Halloween, the festival of sound long ago. Okay, then. I'm going to tell you the story of Fionn and a Wicked Fairy. Boys and girls, long ago in Ireland, there was this little boy, and his name was Fionn. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Fionn. Yahoo! Now, Fionn had a really special friend, and his name was Bran, and he was a doggy. Hey, Bran, come on out, come on out and play. <laughs> Now, Fionn and Bran had one game that they really loved, and that was hurling. Bran, come on! Come on, get the ball! <laughs> oh, they were great company for each other all together. You see, this doggy, Bran, was an Irish wolfhound, and he tried to protect Fionn from their enemies, but your Fionn didn't need any protection. Oh, no! His father was Cool, the great warrior, leader of the Fianna. That's the group of lads that used to protect Ireland from their enemies and used to be based up in the hill of Allen in Kildare. Cool, his father, died when Fionn was young, in battle. But Fionn still had the warrior blood of his father running through his veins. fella but boys and girls danger was approaching one night coming into the festival of sound didn't brand a dog hear something scary in the woods and started to howl <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm sorry. This time of year can be very scary. I must get some non-ghostly looking clothes from the supermarket when they open. Fion! I have come back to the land of the living this sound season to bring you a message. <gasps> a message? You must travel to Tara and see the High King of Ireland, Cormac, and fulfill your destiny. <gasps> My Destiny! Yes, Fionn, for it is you and no one else that shall become leader of the Fianna. Wow, we! I head to Tara at first light. You must go straight away, for great danger haunts King Cormac at Saun, and you must get there before darkness falls on Halloween. Travel in the dark? I will, surely. For me and me and Bram, oh, oh, we're not afraid of any, any, any evil spirit, our uh, pookie ghost. <laughs> to fulfill your destiny, you will need my magic spear, stolen from me by the Banshee of Cruacorn. She still dwells there. Go take it from her and then go on to Tara. A banshee! Oh. Don't worry, Bren. We'll be okay. She ha I'm not afraid of banshees. Tara Manish, come on, Makara. We have our mission. Bren, it's this way. Fionn and Bran travelled through the night until they eventually came to a place called Cruacon, an ancient, sacred, scary place. Bran! Bran! I found a banshee's cave! Oh, She's asleep! My daddy's spear! Oh, I hope she doesn't wake up! Oh, I don't know if I can reach it! It's going to be really hard not to wake her. Oh, goodness gracious. <gasps> I got it! Yes, I have this spear my daddy used to use. Woohoo! I'll be definitely the king of Ireland before you know it. <laughs> oh, my daddy, you can't. Did I hear something somewhere? Ah! for two days and two nights until eventually they arrived at the hill of ancient Tara. Ho, ho, ho. When they arrived, Fionn was a little bit underwhelmed by the place. He expected a great party to be taking place for Saun, Halloween. The king greeted them and Fionn was wondering why the king, Cormac, looked so sad. Oh, 
I am indeed King Karmak himself, and who may I ask are you? My name is Fionn, and, and my daddy was 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 cool, and he was the leader of the Fina, and then he, he died in battle, but then he came back to me as a ghost in a forest, and now he it's my destiny to become leader of the Fina and protect you, you see. What? Leader of the Fina? Uh, you're a bit young now, young man, to be the leader of the Fina. <laughs> I am not. I'm a great warrior, just like my daddy. And I have a spear and everything that I robbed from the Banshee down in Crocon. <laughs> I'm a warrior boy, that's what I am. <laughs> oh, indeed. Well, young man, you've picked a very, very, very dangerous time to be coming to the Hill of Tara. Why is that? It's Samhain. Samhain, the Halloween is great for an eye like it. No, not around Tara. For the last 23 years, we've been haunted. Haunted? By who? By the Morrigan. Oh, she's an awful woman altogether. Doesn't she send down this really, really wicked fairy? And his name is Orlan. And every year he comes here at Halloween at midnight and he plays this music on his flute that puts all my soldiers in the fiend asleep. And then do you know what he does? What does he do, King? Carmack, what does he do then? He breathes fire out of his mouth. What? And he burns down my castle and I have to build it up again in November and December and that's the end of Christmas as well. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's all right, King Carmack. I'll protect you from the evil fairy island. No, you're only a little boy. Don't be silly. I will, I will, I will, I will. I please, King Carmack, just give me one chance to protect you and I'll stand at your wall tonight and I'll protect you. I promise, I promise. I'm a warrior, I promise. Well, I think I have no choice because all the other men are afraid of her now and they won't come out because they're afraid of the Morrigan. So you're my only hope, I think, little boy. Fionn, is that your name? That's right, Fionn McCool. Fionn McCool. <laughs> right, well, i tell you what. If you get rid of this evil fairy that's been haunting me, I vow to make you leader of the Fina. And so Fionn had a deal with King Cormac. If he defeated the wicked fairy Arlen, he'd become leader of the Fina just like his father. Oh, hoo -hoo! But boys and girls, the goddess of war, the Morrigan, oh, she was preparing her magic tune way up in Rock Crochen. <laughs> Round and round the world does go. Some fly high and some fly low. Give me a tune both dangerous and sweet, and all the king's men forever will sleep. <laughs> Time for my annual sow and misery. What? Please don't burn down Cormac's castle. <laughs> well, somebody has to be the buddy around here. Now, let's see if my little fairy tune is ready. Scotta di Cartara. <laughs> Not quite ready yet. Did you know that I can turn into a crow? I bet you can't do that, can you, boys and girls? <laughs> That's because I am the Phantom Queen, the Morrigan Shapeshifter and Goddess of Darkness. Did you know that in Halloween, I sometimes whisper into my little fairy friend's ears to go and play tricks on farmers. And they take the horses and they take the cows. And when the farmer comes down the next day to feed them, what does he find? A wicked fairy! <laughs> now it's time for some more magic words for my magic fairy tune. <gasps> Wind and rain, light and dark, 
Song of Robin, song of luck. Give me a tune both dangerous and sweet, and may all the king's men forever sleep. burn down King Cormac's castle. I have made you a magic sleeping tune, which I will send to your flute. Tune of sleep, tune of fire, go to all in as I desire. walls with his father's magic spear beside him. Poor Bran was a bit worried. Oh no, the wicked fairy Adam is going to come and kill them all. Don't worry, Tommy. Relax, will ya? <coughs> will you wake up? <laughs> I'm getting all confused about all these sleepy fairies and stuff. Fionn didn't want to go asleep, do you know what I mean? He was going to stay awake as long as he could, and Bran said he'd bark for him as soon as he seen Fionn fall asleep with the Wicked Fairy's music, you know. And about a minute to midnight, Fionn heard the music in the distance. Oh, what's that lovely music? Oh, it makes me sleepy. I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> What, what is it, Brad? What's that coming from the sky? Ooh, it's all in, it's all in the wicked fairy, all in. I'll come to burn down the castle. You will not burn down this castle as long as I'm standing in front of it. I'm Nifion McCool. I'm Fionn McCool. And, and my daddy was, was, was a famous warrior called Cool. And I'm going to defeat you today for King Cormac. Well, young Fionn had a big battle on his hands. But just as the wicked fairy Arlen was preparing to fire out his first flame into the castle, didn't little Fionn pick up his daddy's spear and fling it through the sky as hard as he could? And it went straight through the shoulder of Arlen, and Arlen was sent flying into the sky never to be seen again. The king was delighted and he ran down from his castle down the stairs out to Fionn and he was crying with joy. 
Well, my God, I can't believe it. Fionn McCool, you are the true son of Cool, and you will become the leader of the Fina. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. Yay! Come on up to the castle and we'll have a big sound Halloween party. Yay! Fionn and Bran went to the castle with King Cormac, and when they looked in the big feast room, it was the greatest Halloween party they'd ever seen in their life. Well, the king had a great big feast for Fionn that night, and he officially became leader of the Fianna. I declare that Fionn McCool, my great hero and son of the famous Cool, is now to become the leader of the Fianna! a great feast all together. They all had great crack. And then the king, didn't he bring out a big barn brack for everyone and cut it up? Oh, they all loved it. But guess who got the ring? That's right, Bran. <laughs> oh, that's a great end to the story. Bran the doggy got the ring from the barn brack. That's right, Bran the doggy got the ring. And Fionn was leader of the Fina, and King Cormac was happy ever after, and he had great Halloweens every October from then on. Boys and girls, I'm going to hit the road, because of course I'm Jack O'Lantern, and that's what I do. I walk the boreens and roads of Ireland, look out your window on a cold stormy night, and you might see myself and Tommy walking past. Why don't she have your own little sound party tonight with your mammies and daddies? And play all them Halloween games. Sounds good like a good idea, doesn't it? All right, boys and girls. Slaw away. Mm -hmm.